I have spent 5,000 hours playing Skyblock, and I've acquired a total net worth of over 50 billion coins. However, I'd like to see how this knowledge of the game would come in handy if I was to suddenly just lose it all. So, I joined my friend's co-op, and for the next 3 days, I would be grinding in there. But first, let's set a goal. Okay. So not only will I have to reach a net worth of over 180 million coins, but also gain 64 skyblock levels, bruh. Also, if I lose, I'll be giving away 100 million coins in my discord server, so stick around to find out. And without further ado, enjoy the video. Now, luckily for me, these guys are pretty advanced when it comes to collections, meaning that I was instantly level 36. So I would only have to be level 100 by the end of the challenge. Only. So I started off by selling, you know, some stuff from the NPC to the bazaar with the money I had made from farming some wheat previously, netting me a total of 250k in profit. We then moved on to selling enchanted snow blocks from the bazaar to the NPC. Now this is done by setting a buy offer for around 570 coins and selling the block to the bazaar for a cool 30 coin profit per block. Now I did this method until I had around 4 million coins, which took me around two hours to do because i yeah i didn't have much money to start with but anyways with these four million coins i was able to purchase myself a god potion a full set of glacite armor an aspect of the end and an enderman pad and with this newly acquired armor set i decided to do some ender note mining And after an hour and a half of Endernode mining, I had made 7.5 million coins. So with this amount of money, I decided that I would buy unstable dragon armor. But I needed combat 16, so I decided to do some slayers. After finally reaching level 16, I bought unstable dragon armor and threw my old set on the ground. Yeah, what a waste of 300k, but anyways, I also crafted some talismans taking advantage of my co-op's advanced collections, and I did a whole lot of internal mining, which netted me a total of 11.3 million coins. I then killed some tier 3 refs, trying to get some extra skyblock xp while also reaching combat 18, and yeah, I mean, you know what that means, right? Yup, I bought wise dragon armor and a frozen scythe. I also got the sighted power for my talismans, giving me an extra 140 intelligence, which was really helpful, because without it, I wouldn't have been able to one shot sell. Are you kidding me? Luckily though, I had a solution for that. Enchanting. No, I, I, I didn't get growth 7 or looting 5 sadly, but at least I was able to barely one shot salads now. So that's great. So I grinded salads for a good while, and after only getting 3.4 million coins, I decided that it was time to buy a sheep pet that I could later use for running some dungeons. Now, there was an issue though. I needed 3 million coins, so what a way to fix that than to mix a little bit of salads and some internode mining until I had made around 6 million coins. So with this money, I bought a level 100 legendary sheep and decided to run some dungeons with some um, questionable players, to say the least. Until on my third run of floor 1, this happened. Yo, there's no way, third run, oh no way dude, I just got a bone so stab. Yep, I had now made 3 million coins, that's crazy. Though I didn't have enough money to open the chest, so... So I listed that thing up on the age for a quick 5.1 million coins, and went straight to buying some dark goggles. They were pretty trash though, as I was running out of mana pretty quickly. Yes, I bought a frozen scythe with ultimate wise 5, but I couldn't even use it because I, I didn't have enough enchanting level to, you know, unlock the enchantment, so that's kind of dumb. So I then switched to floor 2s for a little while, and when I say a little while, I mean literal hours. Because monkey finder was being way too annoying and dumb and stupid at the time. Anyways, after so much suffering, I only made 500k from a red scarf, but after being extremely bored of carrying noobs and party finder with my insane setup, I decided to buy F3 and F4 carries from my co-op, which would let me get a little bit of skyblock xp, and also, look at my DPS right here, it's actually kinda crazy. 
Anyways, I got literal poop in F3 and pooped on in F4. Also, the carries costed me 300k and you may have noticed that my frozen scythe was starred. Yeah, I spent like 150k on that thing to get it start. Not that much money, I know, but there will always be some silly guy in the comments calling me out for something, so I thought I'd mention this. But now, I had realized how bad I had planned this out. I had 33 million coins in net worth, one sixth of what I needed to complete the challenge. But also, I was only level 52, so I decided to go all in. And I sold my unstable dragon armor for 2 mil and decided to AH flip while mining ender notes. My game crashed. You know why this is important? Well, let me show you. Hello, everybody. Bro, it's 7 p.m. My game crashed. Well, I was, uh, I don't know, doing something. I think I age flipping. Oh, yeah, did anything sell? Nothing sold. But my game crashed. And, you know, I was just checking up on, on OBS because my mic wasn't, like, picking up, you know? I was like, hmm, that's weird. My microphone wasn't plugged in for the past day and a half. But anyways, we moved through that. I'm sure future your castle will figure that out, right? We found this trying to a home. Bro, I'm so stupid. But anyways, I continued flipping stuff on the AH and mining inner notes for a while. And I ended the day off with a 41 million coin net worth. This was the second day and I had made like 20% of the progress I needed to do. I am literally going to lose this challenge so hard. So I logged on on the third day. I had no plan to be honest, but then I realized. There might be efficient ways to make money and earn XP, but it really means nothing when you are not having fun. You see, I was able to get to where I am on my 3 year old profile because I did stuff that I found fun and relaxing, hence my crazy amounts of Slayer XP, which is pretty average at this moment in time sadly. And so, at day 2, with 41 million coins in net worth and a level 53, I decided to give up. Now, you probably clicked on this video wanting to learn some new money making methods that were crazy and would make me like 30 million coins per hour, but in reality, the only effective way to achieve all of this and not get burnt out is through having fun. And let me tell you, all these money making method guides that you see on YouTube are completely useless if you're gonna do them for 10 minutes and get bored. So I suggest you, even if you have a 500 million coin net worth, 200 million, even 50 million, or even 10 million coins, but why not? Try new things in the game that are suitable for your stage, obviously. And whichever seems the most fun to you, learn it and enjoy it. And at some point, you'll become a multi-billionaire off of that. Okay, maybe not a multi-billionaire, you get the point. Maybe you'll get bored of that and switch to, I don't know, dungeons. Because the only way to succeed in everything you do is to have passion for it. Join my server as I'll host the 100 million coin giveaway in there. Moshi, thank you for letting me invade your co-op. Thanks to my insane amount of channel members. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.